You know, over the last, well, 15, 16 months or so, I like to think that we've all shown people a little bit more compassion, particularly those who have fallen foul of what's been going on to all of us over all this time, particularly if you're needy, you've got very little money, or your situation demands it. Uh, the problem is, that doesn't go around everybody. Do everybody welcome back to the channel and my car for a Saturday afternoon. I hope you're all doing all right. The sun is shining where you are and you're having a good time. Well, stories like this I'm about to tell you, I'm in two minds with them always. I either like them or I hate them. I like them because I get to expose shenanigans carried out by big firms who otherwise would go undiscovered. And I hate them because of the effect these shenanigans have on innocent people like you and me. But anyway, here goes. I got an email uh, probably three or four days ago from a regular viewer of this channel. Hello there, by the way. You know who I'll be talking about shortly. And uh, he's been with his wife for 42 years. That's a long time in anybody's book. Absolutely golden marriage for them. They are completely inseparable and uh, they've been joined by the hip, as he puts it, for years and years and years. Well, roll forward to present day and his wife has unfortunately suffered from some health problems over the years and she's currently in hospital. Uh, she's in a, an acute surgical unit and one of the rules in this hospital are no visitors allowed so she is on our own as you can imagine if she's been reliant on her husband for a considerable amount of time quite frightening anyway she had a mobile phone uh, that she was given that she has with her so if she gets frightened or need any reassurance at all she can phone her husband which is the perfectly humane, human and decent thing to do, don't you think? And this went on for ages and ages and ages, and uh, all of a sudden, she gets a text message through to her phone one day saying, sorry, you are over your limit. You can't make any more phone calls. Oh. Sounds like a pay-as-you-go SIM card to me where you have to top it up or there's some other arrangement involved. But the firm, is uh, Virgin Media, Virgin Mobile specifically. Her husband thought, okay, I'll phone up the company because my wife can't and I'll pay the bill for her and get it topped up. Nope, you can't do that. Has to be the customer. She can't do it. The guy's daughter even phoned up and said, I want to pay my mum's bill and top her phone up. Nope, can't do it. Has to be the customer. And yet again, she can't, she's incapable of making that call herself. So we have a situation at the moment where we have a vulnerable elder lady in hospital, completely isolated from her husband and her family, probably frightened, probably needs constant reassurance, and she can't get hold of her husband because Virgin Media or Virgin Mobile will not allow her phone to be topped up. She's totally cut off despicable the problem is with a lot of these big firms they hire cheap labor stuff them in call centers here there and everywhere and give them a sheet to read off of to match up the answers and the questions this has been going on for years and even when you elevate cases to management level it's not very much different. I've had lots of rows with these firms over the years and I end up putting the bloody phone down on them. But in this particular case, I think Virgin Media, shame on you. This is very bad publicity that has come your way because surely in this case, with an older couple who were reliant on that communication to keep in touch with each other and for her to get the reassurance she needs, you could surely make an exception and make an arrangement to see that it's connected. Imagine the amount of good PR and good relations you would get because of this, and instead you've got a, got a gobshite cab driver sitting in his motor telling everybody how crap you are. Now what I suggest you do, and I'm going to put this on social media as well, is have a long, good, hard look at your procedures and do something about it, because this hasn't changed over the last 
15 months, the situation has got worse and these policies are still in place at hospitals and families are getting separated and people like you need to pull your finger out your backside and do something about it to help them. Anyway, I'm off. Have a good one folks and I might be back later with another one. And all the best to my uh, viewer that sent me this story. Despicable and I hope it gets sorted out. Virgin Media, shame on you. This is me signing off. Toodaloo.